Hi, it's me, Tom, again from Packet Video. Why don't we focus on some music devices? In this video, I'd like to show you how to hook up a Roku sound bridge to your Twonky Media Manager. A lot of people have their music on their computer, but what if you want to hear it in your kitchen or your living room? That's where the Roku sound bridge comes in. So here we are in the kitchen, and we're going to hook up our Roku sound bridge to our home network. Now keep in mind you want to have your computer turned on and also have your Twonky Media Manager software running. Now when you first hook up your sound bridge, you'll plug it into this power cord that comes with it of course, and then you're going to connect it to a set of speakers. Once it powers up, you'll get a set of basic questions that you can answer, basically setting up English, which language you speak, which country you are in, and which time zone. And then once we accept those changes, it'll start up. Hooking it up to the network can go either way. You can either go wirelessly connecting it via Wi-Fi, or you can hardwire it using an internet cable that connects directly to your router. In addition to being able to pull music to the Roku sound bridge, from my Twonky Media Manager software, I can actually drag and drop a song onto the player, and it'll start automatically. And that's how you set up your Roku sound bridge to work with your Twonky Media Manager. In the future, we're going to have some videos that address some pretty cool techniques like a party setup and more. So stay tuned. And don't forget, if you have any questions, join us at twonkyforum.com for some great tips and tricks.